I'm just gonna let it sit in. <laughs> Welcome to the Comedy Time Squirt Arena Resort Bar and Conference Center, Casino Karaoke Nightclub, sometimes a spa and nails. <laughs> My name is Mauricio. I am your idol today. Gigolo in many cases, sex bombing others, and yes, I'm open for booty calls and one night stands. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah, and hell no, hold on. I'm not dating women for more than two nights, I must warn you. Why, you might ask? After the second date, they realize I don't drink, I don't smoke, I make them laugh, and I pretend to listen to them, and they wanna move in, hell no, what the hell? <laughs> and with their mom, no, 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 senora. <laughs> no, 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 nice to meet you. <laughs> Hold on, is that your sister? What's up, girl, what's up, what's up? A guy looking like me, acting like that. So, be down, fool. <laughs> Don't laugh, I used to be a cholo. <laughs> According to, to the police, I'm non-active. <laughs> but I could go active just like that. <laughs> Before I came to the States, uh, I was a gynecologist in Costa Rica, a very famous gynecologist. I know, I know. And uh, the people uh, here at the Huntington Hospital, uh, stupid board of directors revoked my license. <laughs> Apparently gynecologists in the United States are not allowed to have large hands. Look at that. Look at those two fingers. <laughs> Some guys don't get it. They will get it tomorrow in the worst time. It's a, it's a joke for women. <laughs> and I think I got revoked, uh, my license got revoked because I used to offer my patients uh, options, including the, the famous option of, all right, with or without the glove? <laughs> it's your choice. I know what I'm looking for. <laughs> Can you imagine me being a gynecologist? Imagine my face like, I got 17 kids. <laughs> it used to be five, but thanks to America's Got Talent, now they're 17. <laughs> Apparently when Nick Cannon came out on national television and said, from Pomona, California, here is my rhythm of mama. <laughs> it was like child support went like, bingo, we found him. The very next day after being on national television, you think you're all that and you think everybody should recognize you. Stupid. <laughs> so here I am driving my brand new 97 Corolla. <laughs> I call it 97 Corolla brand new because I painted it, okay? <laughs> Don't judge me, it's my life, okay? This was two years ago. <laughs> Do the math. Besides, you painted, and all the recalls have already passed. So there's nothing wrong with the car. <laughs> Unlike with brand new cars, you remember the Prius? <laughs> Neutral. <laughs> Nobody ever taught these people. Anyways, I'm driving myself on my brand new 97 Corolla through Pomona, and then I get the lights. Woo! I'm like, all right, I'll get pulled over, it's fine. This officer, very gentle officer, comes to me and goes like, excuse me, sir, uh, are you Mauricio from America's Got Talent? Imagine me going like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he goes like, you've been served, sir. Uh, thick envelope, 12 cases of child support. <laughs> or are you gonna say like, no, I'm not taking that. <laughs> You can't run like, like you would used to, or, or like what you would do with someone who's not a cop. <laughs> you go like, no, 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 that's not mine, that's not mine, that's not mine. Anyways, the problem with those 12 cases, and I have to be honest with you guys, I never lie in court. I never lie in court, unless it's traffic court. <laughs> and that's because everybody lies at traffic court. So, in court, I didn't lie. I said to the judge, Your Honor, I do know the 12 women. 
And they all claim the same thing. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. Everything happened. <laughs> Imagine that. 17 kids. All by C-section, of course. <laughs> women take care of your man. Take care of your man. And men encourage women to have C-section. Some women go like, he goes back to normal. He never goes back to normal. <laughs> Looks kind of the same, but you're like, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. I usually give away uh, practical advice during my shows, my stand-up routines as well. So this is a very quick tip of the day for you guys. If you're getting into a new relationship, do not talk about your former wife, your former girlfriend, uh, boyfriend, whatever. Do not give them your game. Do not let them know what they did wrong, what they did great, what was good for you. Take people as they are. Don't waste your time. Stupid ass. We always do the same thing. You know what? I left my wife because she was so jealous. The woman, the woman in the other side is like, oh my God, I have to, I have to pretend I'm not jealous. <laughs> we all been through that, right? It's the first thing we do as human beings. We go out oh, and complain about the things, flaws and good things that we suffered or enjoyed about the other person. So restrain yourself of being so stupid. Unlike Geico, you won't say 15%, you might say 15 years of your life in suffering. My name is Mauricio Herrera. Thank you very much. That's my time, everybody.